virtual MIDI cable installation. In this tutorial, we're going to look at um, specifically installing um, one particular MIDI virtual cable that I've used that others have used successfully. Um, you can use virtual MIDI cables, and there are a number of other ones available, to connect Notation Musician and Notation Composer to other sound sources. The GS Wavetable is the default MIDI device that both of these programs use. However, you may have something like SynthFont, uh, which uses sound fonts that you can find for free on the internet. You may have a Garretton library or a contact library or some other um, sound library that you'd like to use when you're working on with your files to give you better sounds. And you can do that using a virtual MIDI cable. Um, we're going to look specifically at the Loop B installation because it has a it's it's very robust. It works on all operating systems that I know of, and a lot of users have just had very good success with it. It's also free, which makes it very attractive. If you're just going to use one, now if you need um, more than 16 instruments, you might want to consider their Loop B30, um, which gives you more in, um, connections. Now. In our users forum, and you can go right to the notation users forum here, and do a quick search. We have some information on virtual MIDI cables. Okay, there are a number of discussions. Ah, I've done this before. Can you tell? So we're going to look at the search, and it will show the results. There are a number of other discussions where folks have used it, but we do have one sticky thread that lists a number of options for virtual MIDI cables put together by one of our forum users, for which we appreciate very much. Um, he gives a little review. There's MIDI Yoke, um, Maple MIDI. Um, uh, the, those are each very nice free alternatives, uh, but they do have a couple of caveats. Loop B, uh, the, as I said, the, the single cable is free. Um, the 30 cable version is very reasonable at $20. And there's uh, another one too that I haven't tried. So we're going to go to the Nerds website here, and that is nerds.de. We're going to look at the loop B1, and if you click on their link, it will just it'll show you a bit of information about the loop B1 virtual MIDI driver. Okay, the download link is not on this page. Um, Again, if you are going to be using a lot of instruments, more than 16, uh, the MIDI standard channel allowance is 16. If you need to orchestrate you know, something huge, you may want to consider getting the Loop B30. Um, but right now we're going to go to the download page. And you'll see there's a version for Mac. Uh, we want to look for the version for Windows, uh, simply because that's what we'll be using. Um, and it's down at the bottom. You click on it to download it, and I'm going to put that in a folder where I, I always save files and stuff. So we'll pretend that I've gone on and I've done that. Now I've downloaded the file. We're going to double click it to install it. Hopefully it won't mess up because I already have the uh, Loop B30 installed. We'll click Next. Um, this is simple user agreement. Um, you'll see that mine says x86. I have a 64-bit machine. That's the only reason that shows up. If it doesn't show up on yours, it's okay. Click Next and then Install. Um, and you know, it'll ask you, do you want to install this device? You may or may not see that depending on your security settings. Um, you can go ahead and install it. It is safe. And then we're going to move along after the installation here and show you what that's going to look like in Composer. We're going to go to Setup, MIDI Device Configuration, and you'll see that there is the internal MIDI. I've renamed it to Loop B, just so I know the name. Um, but you'll see that it's listed as In and Out. We do not want that. If you have a MIDI cable that is an In and Out, in the same application, in other words, if it's in and out in Musician or Composer, you'll get a feedback loop. Now, Loop B mutes that for you so you don't get this nasty um, slowdown of your computer. If you're using another cable, such as uh, Maple MIDI 
or such and you in your computer just really slows down it bogs down like it's not doing anything but it doesn't shut off you've probably uh, got an in and out somewhere that is causing a feedback loop you should go in and do this okay for here we're going to select ports and you see that it's checked as in and out okay input ports are on the left output ports are on the right we only want to send information out from musician or composer okay so we're going to uncheck the in okay we don't want that here you will want the in for your other sound for your MIDI device that you're playing too okay so here in musician or composer we're going to uncheck the input we're going to leave the output checked that's very very important okay click OK and then we'll see that that will be reflected in our configuration now we have it simply as an out I've got it selected as my default and now that's the device name that will show up in the staff setup when I want to use that in my uh, score in my file setup so there you have it quick and easy we'll cover synth font and garreton libraries later enjoy